will visit Pensuco Cement, where a hard-working team of employees have been busy with a variety of initiatives to prepare Pensuco to be certified as a zero-waste facility. Here's environmental engineer Audrey Fulton to explain some of the details. Hi, I'm Audrey Fulton, environmental engineer of Pensuco Complex. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our zero waste initiative and how Pensuco is working to become certified as a zero waste facility. You'll be interested in knowing that Pensuco Complex is the first cement plant to apply to become a zero waste facility with the U.S. Zero Waste Business Council. By obtaining their zero waste certification, businesses save money, become more efficient, and reduce pollution and greenhouse gases. Now here are some other team members to tell you a little bit about our zero waste process. My name is Eugenio Diaz, electric engineer at the Pensuco facility. As you can see, we're standing next to the universal waste area, which is part of our Cedar Waste Initiative that we began at Pensuco about three months ago. As you can see, here we store lamps, batteries, mercury, uh, pesticides. This is a great initiative because it helps us organize and have a system in place where our guys can always dispose of these hazardous materials and not throw them into the wild. As you can see, we got containers, everything's ready to go. And as soon as it gets, the area gets filled, our company will come pick it up for recycle purposes only. In addition, this initiative with the Zero Waste helped us as a group to always look around the job we're performing on what can be recycled. So we're always looking for this. Instead of just throwing everything away, we take all of this together. Can we recycle these cars? Can we do this electrical recycling? Can we do batteries, light bulbs? All of this is also puts, puts us in the right mindset to recycle and becoming a zero waste facility like we want to do. Hello everyone, I'm Michael Turuli, the Packhouse and Loadout Supervisor at Titan America Pensugo. Over here we strive to be a zero waste facility. My area specifically focusing in pallet recycling. As you can see behind me, this is our pallet recycling area where we place all broken and unusable pallets. All of our other pallets over there, we put them through domestic and ship them out still utilizing the full pallet and placing new ones in for the export in the back of you. This way we can keep a constant rotation of pallets. This saves money and reduces machine downtime by not putting extremely broken pallets through the machine. The hardest thing about starting this entire system, which was started in the beginning of 2016, was changing the culture of all the people around here. It was very hard because when I came, they were saving their broken pallets and not putting them through the machine. But now we have a really good recycling method and we hope to continue it through 2017. Thank you, Audrey and team. I'm sure we'll be hearing much more about this in the future.